Hello guys, Colonel Ninny here. Tar 21 comes to its inevitable end with an overwhelming Allied victory. And it's the individual squadrons on both sides that contribute to the ebb and flow of the ground war across the various maps. And it behooves each squadron to review the statistics to see the areas that you did well in and the areas that you need to improve in. Make no mistake, this was a grueling campaign, and it's the first time that I've actually flown with a proper squadron. Besides the usual visceral fun, there were other challenges, such as flying a damaged aircraft into an unlit aerodrome at night, or simply trying to keep a formation in crappy weather. So in this video, we're going to look at some of the factors that made our squadron so successful in this uh, campaign. Let me introduce you to the squadron members of OPFR, Operation Frantic. The three very capable pilots without squadron tags joined us partway through the campaign. Remember that the primary role of all the aircraft in the TOR campaign is to support the troops on the ground. It is the army that captures the cities and moves the front line forward. Our role is to help them do that. This means each squadron is a multi-purpose unit with the attackers and bombers attacking the ground targets and the fighters providing cap or covering air power to protect them from marauding fighters. It's easy to see from op force uh, statistics that our air kills are only 38 but our ground kills are 2,997. This is pretty good for only eight members. The vast majority of air kills were fighters who were trying to intercept us as we were hitting the ground targets. So between us we got 3,000 kills in 520 hours of flying time. But what was really killing us was the number of deaths our squadron took. We lost 156 pilots. So we need to look at why we died so often and what we can do to try and change that. The first thing is your proximity to the ground at any time. Low flying is just simply dangerous. Introduce additional risk factors like night flying or bad weather or flying a damaged aircraft and that need to get that one more target and you're not going to be making it home. In fact, at one point, Op 4 was having so many collisions with terrain, we almost changed our name to the Landscaping Professionals. And one member in particular has the nickname Clipper. There were 150 squadrons registered on this TAR. But to put that in perspective, many of the squadrons had only one or two members. The others ranged uh, through us at 8 players up to a total of 43 players for one of the largest groups. So we did very well coming in at 27th place overall out of that 150, with a total score of 7,801. For every pilot death it cost 300 points. We lost 156 pilots. Simple math tells you that that's 46,800 points lost. Statistically, that works out to 0 0.3 deaths for every hour we flew. The fewest deaths per hour was recorded by the SEG, or Simulated Combat Group, and they had 0.15 deaths per hour. SCG is one of the most experienced groups and highly organized and I would say that they are setting the bar at 0.15 deaths per hour and if you can get anywhere near that you're doing just great. Successful communication is paramount between you when you're flying a mission. On other servers we use Discord but on TAR we use TeamSpeak. By far the greatest hazard to us in our ground attack work is FLAC, AAA. We estimate it attributes 60% of our deaths, 10% to accidents and 30% to enemy fighters. And to counter this, we practice many techniques depending on the type of target we're hitting. Good bombs on the target and now we head for home. 
we have an agreed uh, egress heading and rendezvous point where we'll form up and uh, protect anyone that's damaged and we hope that the friendly fighters above us still have us in sight for the bombers this is the scariest part because the AAA has now alerted the fighters that we're in the area if we discount our fatalities and look at the ground kills alone then we're in sixth place when you think about it the true measure of a squadron's performance is really based on the number of air and ground kills per hour and this is where Op4 really shines for air and ground kills together we're in second place with an average of 5.8 kills per hour. So here, Op4 sets the standard. My personal score in ground kills is 556, but to achieve that, I died 34 times. This shows us two things. One, the work is very, very dangerous. And two, I take unnecessary risks. And this downgrades the total score of the squadron, keeping us out of the top five bombers. In TAR, dying can give you a 20-hour penalty, which makes matters worse for the squadron because you can't be on the front line helping them out. That increases their risk. With a concerted effort and great practice, Op4 will become one of the most formidable squadrons in the Tactical Air War Forum. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, found it helpful, please like it or subscribe. Or if there's another topic you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment. Thank you, guys.